Good evening fellow whiskey lovers and welcome to the Dram Bar Bar Lactador and Whiskey Club. I'm Dean and I'm Ian. This is our channel and we're going to take you on the journey, walk you through the whiskies that are available from our Dram Bar and our subscription packs. There's a link in the description if you'd like to find out more, but for now, if you're drinking along with a Dram from the online Dram Bar, sit back, relax, pour yourself a Dram, let it breathe, let's get into it together. Cheers. Cheers. Back whiskey lovers and in our subscription this month we've got a really interesting whiskey from the Shinshu distillery in Japan. Now the reason I chose this whiskey is I love Japanese whiskey as you know. Um, you're a fan as well but I like probably, it, yeah. pro perhaps not into it as much as I am. Probably not as so much. The reason I wanted to try this one is um, you won't find it out there in supermarkets and it's not easily available it's from a, a smaller distillery in, in japan yeah so i thought it would be a really interesting whiskey for our subscribers to try um and the name mars kasai as well basically means mars mars uh, and that's because the distillery is one of the highest distilleries in japan 800 yeah. meters above sea level pretty cool it's pretty cool so that's what i wanted to try that's double what mars bring double mars Reminds me, I'm thinking now of Mars Duo. Mars Duo and deep frying it. Oh. Take it back to its Scottish roots, deep fried Mars bar. I've yeah. never had one, but I want to try one. So. I, on that note, I'd imagine there's probably some Scottish whiskey in this Japanese whiskey. That, yeah, that's a really good point, actually. Yeah. That's a really good point. Um, well, based on the price point, um, yeah, you're, you're probably right yeah. with that, that um, it's not a wholehearted Japanese whiskey. Um, Finished off in bourbon barrels? Bourbon well. barrels. Uh, it's a blend, uh, so it's a blend of malt and grain whiskey. Um, it's 40% ABV. Um, can't find a huge amount of information out about the whiskies that go into this. Yeah, so, it's not much on the bottle. Either, no, I don't so. know the age of the, the whiskies that are going into the blends. Uh, don't know if it's chill filtered. Uh, don't know if it's got colour added, although looking at it, I'd assume it probably has. I don't know that for sure. Um, but nevertheless, let's crack it open, pour it, and, and see what it's all about. Yeah, let's go. So this is, it does look quite dark in the, in the bottle. Of that little pop. That's a good pop. Um, that's a good pop. Um, so it'll be interesting to see Cheers, buddy. What we've got there, just on a small drum. That's really small. I'm going to go a little more generous there. Yeah, I might I'm going to use the moon, which is my inspiration. I'm going, to, I'm going to top that up. Just don't want to spill it everywhere. It's got a fairly thick lip on there. Yeah, it's pretty chunky. It's not the easiest to pour, actually. No. So if you give it a little little swirl, like we, we always say, let the, the air get into the whiskey. See from the legs, quite... Quite thin. Quite, quite thin legs, yeah. running down quite quickly, ties in with it being a lower ABV. Yep. Yeah. What are you getting on the nose? Bit of honey. More fruity for me, more apples, kind of a, just like a white wine. Yeah, actually, I can, I can get the, I, I think of, uh, like you say like white wine, I get great. Yeah, white very grape. much a yeah, white grape, yeah, very good shell. Like a white grape, bit honey. Of apples. Yeah, maybe it's not getting the honey, if, if I'm honest, but. And I get a floral essence yeah. from it as well. Which is interesting, again, with um, Japanese whiskey, if it was pure Japanese whiskey, then you would be getting those more aromatic flavours coming through. Mm. Um, and on the nose, um, not really getting that herby side. Quite a fresh nose, though, quite a fresh. So that's okay. Hmm, I'm really. Really interested to try this, should we? Yeah. Cheers, bye. Very good. Japanese for cheers. I like that. School day. A little bit of spice in there, you know. A little bit of spice, maybe some a toffee note coming through the yeah. taste, which is completely different to the nose yeah I'm not getting the honey so much I'm not getting the white grape so much um, I'd agree I'm getting sort of a toffee caramel kind of vibe uh, mm. from that 
So uh, an interesting fact about the distillery as well is that um, they use cast iron fermentation tanks. So it's um, unusual. Yeah, it's really unusual. Uh, it must be an absolute nightmare to clean. Yes, can you imagine? imagine. Yeah. yeah, it's I not going to be easy to, to just wash and clean, is no. it? So, yeah, um, that's quite interesting. I'd probably, probably take any job at the distillery. It, very true. To be very fair. So. so you've gone back for a second. I've gone back. Anything on that? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit more fruit coming through. Um, saw a little bit on the floral side. Um, toffee kind of coming through there mm. as well for me. It's not the smoothest whiskey in the world. No, is it, do you know what? It's got a little bit of a kick at the back yeah. of the throat. And it's a lasting kick as well. It's, yeah. it's definitely warm on the throat. Yeah. Not feeling that warmth go down though. It's no. not kind of warming me up. It's like... It, I wouldn't say a burn in the throat, but it's definitely yeah. It's, it's not, heat. It's that spice too. It? Yeah, it's it's not got the smoothness of um, like a, a Biki or a Yamazaki yeah. or, or or something along those lines. But then the price point is completely different. So you know you have to exactly. be fair about it. Uh, it's yeah, it's, it's okay. I'm not blown away by it. Um, it's it's an okay whiskey. Um, would I buy a bottle for myself? It's I, interesting because. Um, we've had a lot of people that come back to us. Like yeah. They've tried that and they've come back and it's been quite popular, right? So it's got something to it. Mm. it for me, it's not a, a Japanese whiskey as as in what I'm used to when I'm drinking a Japanese whiskey. It is a slightly lower price point. Yeah. Could be why. Um, I think it lacks some kind of character some kind of depth to the character not a lot of body to it no right not a lot i kind of feel like it's a good entry level whiskey so mm. maybe if you're fairly new to whiskey maybe fairly new to japanese whiskey and you just want to maybe just try something to get used to it i'd say that's probably it's probably good for that reason uh, i'm not sure that you'd see many whiskey enthusiasts um probably reaching out and buy it i could be wrong um but yeah i think I it's a good fade way i think that could be a an everyday drink for me, like a, yeah. a daily drink. You have it as a daily. Yeah, I think I would. It wouldn't be like my Japanese whiskey is more it's there. It comes out on special occasions. Yeah, so, I get that. Um, if England ever win a World Cup, or be waiting a while. Yeah, that we'll be we'll waiting a while. Um, um, but yeah, it, it would be. I think you're right with the kind of entry level whiskey, but I'd say if you're getting into whiskey and you want to kick it up a gear and go to something a little bit more with a little more bit more heat to it yeah then it certainly gives you that um it's not heaty by any means of the, the imagination but it's spicy it's got something to it it's, it's yeah got a kick. it's got a punch now i remember reading on a uh on the on the internet on the on the tasting review of this that it's got a subtle hint of smoke um coming through which like you just said i'm not getting yeah i can't find it i can't find that in there at all i mean i'm going to go back and have another mm. go but Still very floral and very fruity. The wine nose still comes through for me. Maybe it's there around the back, hiding a so little bit. The more I drink that, the more that toffee flavour comes out and is more powerful. And maybe a little bit of, of a dark, dark chocolatey hint at the back of the palate. Dark chocolate, well. I don't get that. I don't get it's dark more chocolate. Back of the palate, mm. rolling round almost. So. I think I can, you know. <laughs> There's a little bit of smoke tucked in there somewhere, but it's so marginal yeah. that it's not really worth talking about that much, in my yeah. opinion. It's a, it's an okay whiskey. Yeah. yeah. I don't I think, think I'd have it as a daily drinker. I don't think I would. No? No, I think it's me. got its place. I definitely think yeah. it's got its place. I could see why people would like it. Um, and yeah, I think it definitely kicks you up a little level off of kind of entry level whiskeys. Yeah. I'm glad we got it. I'm glad we tried it. Um, oh, I'm always glad to try every whiskey, to be honest. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So something new. Um, so yeah, we've kind of enjoyed it. Um, yeah. You probably wouldn't drink it again. No. Um, but hey, that's the whole thing about whiskey and tasting and, and trying new things, right? Yeah. Like, why, we, why we set up the club in the first place. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, over to you guys. Hopefully uh, you've enjoyed it. Cheers, guys. Um, let us know about your, your thoughts in the comments. Thanks very much. See you soon.